But this week's a little bit different. We're looking at Envirotex Light versus Magic Water. So what are we doing this week? Well, I've used both Envirotex Light and Magic Water and I've got a preference and I thought I'd see just which one comes out best on an identical test. So I've made two identical, more or less, dioramas with a little bit of a cling film barrier around the edge and masking tape. Same method as in last week with the stream bed. And what I've done is I put a little bit of grout over the top as well because I wanted there to be a slightly different effect. And I was basing it on the um, river we went past when we saw Mount Rainier in the distance, as you do, um, this summer in America. It's not quite the same, but close enough. So I'm going to basically take two measuring cups and measure them out using actually a weight of uh, scales and water and Envirotex Light is equal measure. It's a two part epoxy but they're both the same size bottles and you pour them one on one. Magic Water is a um, one to two mix so you have one of the small bottle, two of the big bottle. And in all cases I'm going to put a little bit of um, Tamiya, oops, if we get it that way around, Tamiya colour in so that um, we can test, because I've been using Tamiya so far all the way through, so I just want to be consistent. So we've got our stirring sticks, and we're going to go for it. Straight off the bat, Envirotex Light is thicker. You can see that, it's got a much thicker feel to it and the magic water is more watery. Now the great big pour. So the magic water going on first, and I have labelled these at the back so I can tell which is which later. And I'm just going to pour it in the middle as I normally would. It's a lot thinner. the whole amount in even though it's probably a bit much now for this diorama um, and it doesn't really matter what what it is and what this looks like it's a test isn't it I'm gonna put the whole amount in so I put an equal volume in both models There we go. There's that one in. I'm just going to let it find its own strength and I'm going to give it a little bit of a to get rid of the bubbles. And that's the bubbles all gone, apart from one there, which I've just got a prick. There we go, with a cocktail stick. And there we go. That's just through there, finding its own level. And we'll leave it be. So now I'm going to just stir the Envirotex light, which hasn't sat for as long, so it's quite a bit more bubbly still. Um, so bear in mind the other one being sitting five minutes if this one looks more bubbly when I pour it. It's a lot thicker as you can see. It's actually a more defined channel in this diorama. It does look more bubbly, but it hadn't been sitting for as long, so that doesn't surprise me. Now Magic Water claims it's got a smaller meniscus, that's the lift around the edge because of the surface tension, than Envirotex. Um, and because this is thicker, I can believe that might be true. I'm 
Okay. And do the breathe test. You see how quickly it's degassed. Um, and it hasn't been standing as long as the other one. So I would expect it to take a bit longer. So let me just give it another bit of a um, blow now. So straight off the bat, I haven't found the magic water has been as bubbly as this ever. And I've been using it quite a bit now, even if I haven't left it for long. It generally has had very few bubbles and a quick breath has got rid of them. And you can see that from all my previous week's episodes. So quite a lot of um, advantage there on the bubble front. I'm going to leave this for a couple of minutes and just let those bubbles come to the surface. And I'll keep blowing on them and I'll let you know how it goes. So at the moment, it's nearly half past three on a Sunday night. I'll check back every day. Well, actually, I'll check before I go to bed tonight and we'll see how they're setting up. The Envirotex light, I should say it's quarter past seven. The Envirotex light set steady, really solid. Nothing's moving that. So yeah, really solid. Magic water, actually it's beginning, it's at the stiff peak stage. So it's beginning to just be almost like toffee or a caramel, which is more set than often it would be at this point. So that's a relief. But um, if you leave it go, it will still self level at this point. It's still gloopy enough that it'll just ease out and self level. I'm gonna be brave. Yep, my Envirotex light has that nice solid feeling you get. This is still wobbly. I'm not even gonna to touch it. I'm here, my Envirotex is still set as ever. This one, still wobbly. Um, but just in case I've wobbled that too much, I poked this yesterday with this um, cocktail stick and it made some huge dents. And now I can just see a sort of surface mark. But again, it's still, when I press it, it's still very tacky, still bouncing straight back actually. It's not keeping any dents anymore, but um, very rubbery and definitely not set. This is still a bit wobbly, still tacky. When I press it, I can still dent the surface. I'm not gonna to touch it, but definitely still not set. Still tacky when I press it. Um, you could put um, something over the top, but there's not, if I do that, I can feel it begin to almost depress a little when I press on it. From above, it doesn't look very set still. When you compare it to this, there's a squeaky clean feel, you know that set. This has a scratchy noise to it. You know it's not quite there yet. So still, it's got that squeaky feeling. You could probably, yeah, you could very easily scratch that still, or dent it, or move it. Well, this is getting a little boring, isn't it? So, if I press that, yeah, I just, I can make a big dent in it. Hmm, not ideal, not set. If I press on here, I can still feel it depress. And when I do that, I can put a finger mark in it. I can see the surface moving when I do this. So still not set. Long week waiting for this. Oh, still squidgy to dry. How long do you have to wait for this stuff to dry? I mean, wow. If I push down, I can make a huge sort of finger mark. I can make a huge dent in this. I can see it move when I press it. Well, there we go. So how did they do? Well, Envirotex light sets solid. Magic water, not. Still rubbery when you press it. That could actually be an advantage. I've seen layouts on the exhibition circuit, beautiful water with cracks through them because they've obviously been knocked and they've just shattered. I don't think magic water will ever do that. Envirotex light is, if I'm honest, smellier. Not 
excessively, but it is definitely smellier. Magic water, not much of a smell. Well, yellowing over time will have to leave a little. These have only been done a couple of weeks. Um, other thoughts, this is much thicker. Surprisingly so, and I hadn't realised it until I did the two side by side. It doesn't flow, it didn't flow into this corner, whereas the magic water flowed all the way through the diorama. This stayed more in its section. Having said that, is the meniscus different? I think the meniscus might be slightly different. I can't really see much difference. But the water on this, when I tip it and look at it, I can see swirl marks in it. Whereas this one, there's bubbles. I mean, the, the surface is dead flat, but within it, the bubbles never came out. And that, I will be honest, is the first time I've ever had Envirotex light not degas properly. Um, it makes it look quite a bit milkier. If you compare the two side by side, you can see this one is milkier than this one. And that is all down to these small, minute bubbles that are still trapped in the resin. I don't know why, I breathed on it a lot. So this one did degas a lot more quickly. But this one's set. You could have done something with this the same day. If you wanted to push to do the ripple technique, you could do that with this. If you were doing it over waterfalls, it wouldn't have all run down to the bottom quite as quickly. This one, really, you've got to allow at least three or four days for it to set before you can do anything. So if you're in a rush to get onto other scenery, that could be a real problem. If you've got all the time in the world, I don't think it matters. So who won? Difficult one. I would probably, I mean, I've just bought some Envirotex light and I've nearly finished my magic water. I would probably buy magic water again, um, except where I want something to set quickly. And on this show, setting quickly has been really important. And I've been doing a video every week and I have struggled some weeks to get stuff done in time because the magic water takes such a long time. It's only supposed to take 12 to 24 hours. My kitchen's in the sort of late teens, 20 degrees. It's not cold. So I don't really understand why it's taking so long. Is it the paint in it? I don't know. But it does get there eventually. And all of my layers, even the ones I worried weren't set, have eventually set. So I think you could use either and it wouldn't matter. Otherwise, certainly for an exhibition layout, I'd use magic water again. That rubberiness just makes it easier to cut the meniscus off than it does on here. It makes it easier to work with, but you couldn't file it in the same way or sand it. It's just a slightly different texture. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you used both? Do you have a favorite? I'd love to hear. it's fine um they're just on fairly lightweight boards so you know but whew, boy did it set a lot quicker with the envirotex light just what we were hoping for i mean it was taking days i mean days i kept getting stuck and i thought she was going to notice my footprints on the edge because i'd go up and i go and I'd stick and I'd be like, Ooh. i mean sometimes 24 hours later could hardly tell it been going. It'd still be just, you know, you, you move it. You know, these people who like say ripple it by pushing it, you think, flat chance. They're like, it takes days to set. How do you know when it's going to be ready to ripple? So, much happier with one that sets quicker. I like it. I wish you'd taken us to that Mount Rainier scenic railway. You see Mount Rainier in the pictures. Looks really pretty. We got to stay at home. Yeah, maybe she'll take us next year. Maybe. Well, I'll work on her. I'll let you know how it comes out. Well, I hope you enjoyed the comparison. Do put something in the comments below and let me know what you think. Which is your favourite? Which one would you choose? Magic Water or Envirotex Light? In the meanwhile, if you're enjoying this, subscribe to me on YouTube or on my website kathymillett.co.uk
Alternatively, like me on Facebook, Kathy Millett Modeling. I'll see you next week.